Hello students, in the long career of me being a teacher, I have come across many students who have not been able to understand the mechanism of hormone action. It's a simple concept. If you understand that concept, you will not be feeling difficulty in understanding mechanism of hormone action. So today I am going to tell you about mechanism of hormone action. As you know, hormones can be categorized into four groups based on their chemical nature. One, peptide and polypeptides. Two, amino acid derivatives. Three, steroids. And fourth, idothyronins. Out of these, peptides and amino acid derivatives, they are water soluble and steroids and idothyronins are lipid soluble. Now here lies the crux. If the hormone is water soluble, it will behave in a different manner and if it is lipid soluble, it will behave in a different manner. Why? Because the membranes are made up of fat and proteins. So the peptides and amino acid derivatives like FSH, insulin, adrenalines, etc., they are water soluble and they cannot pass through the plasma membrane directly. So, there are receptors on plasma membranes which are fixed receptors which are proteins and the hormones first come and attach themselves to these receptors. Once this receptor complex is formed, this is known as first messenger. It enters the cytoplasm and it forms another messenger called second messenger which may be cyclic AMP or IP3 or calcium ion etc. When once this second messenger is formed, it creates biochemical reactions which are a chain of reactions and finally the physiological change can be seen in the cell. If suppose the hormone is FSH, it will bring about a physiological change in the ovarian growth. Now suppose the hormone is fat soluble hormone or lipophilic like estrogen, testosterone etc. then it can pass through the plasma membrane directly because it is fat soluble. So the receptors are present inside the cell maybe in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus. So this receptor will attach to the hormone and will form hormone receptor complex. The hormone receptor complex will join itself to specific places at DNA which will bring about changes and produce messenger RNA. Messenger RNA will pro produce a specific protein which is important for that specific reaction and the physiological changes can be seen. So if this hormone is estrogen, it will bring about tissue differentiation and growth. I hope you have understood the mechanism of hormone complex, whether it is a water soluble or whether it is a lipid soluble. To understand such more concepts, please join exams tayari.